In this video, I'm going to share with you how to create an ebook step-by-step -step using Canva and all for free. So if you've ever wanted to sell your own ebook online, then this video is for you. Hey, my name is Aurelius and on this channel, I'll share my tips, tool reviews and tutorials to help you build and scale your digital product business. So if that interests you, be sure to hit that subscribe button below, turn on notifications too, so that you don't miss a thing. So in this video, I'm going to go through how to actually design and create an ebook from scratch. And I'm going to assume that you already have your content on somewhere, let's say a Google Docs or a Word document or even a text file. But these are the steps and the process to designing and creating your eBooks on Canva. Okay, first of all, for this demo, I've got a couple of chapters that I've extracted from a PLR eBook that we sell at unstoppableplr.com. So do check that out if you are looking for brandable eBooks. So nothing fancy here, you can see this is just on a Word doc. I will be copying and pasting this over to Canva and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Log into your Canva account and from there, what you are going to look for is documents. Under documents, you are going to look for either A4 document or a letter size. I think they're both the same sizes anyway. Uh, we use the metric system here, so it's in centimeters. I'm going to choose A4 document just so I can get those right dimensions and proportions. And from here, we've got a blank canvas, as you can see. Now, we could base our ebook and the look and feel and the layout from one of the pre-existing templates here. However, one thing to note with Canva templates is the license agreements. There are different types of licenses when it comes to the stock images and the elements used on these templates, so it's something to be careful of. It is a complicated subject in terms of the legal aspects of using Canva templates for eBooks that you wanna sell. You know, there was a comment placed on one of my other videos, I'll link up here, in terms of the copyright and the laws of it, and I'm not going to give you any advice here, so it's up to you as the user to do your own due diligence in terms of using these templates. I did try to, however, contact Canva in terms of this subject without any response as of yet, but when I do get an update from Canva, I will We'll put it in the description below or in the comments of this video below. But if you do want to stay safe, then it's best to just start from scratch, use your own images that you have commercial rights to, and then use it simply as a designing tool. So with that said, what we're going to do first is to simply go to photos. From here, you can actually search for these photos and some of them will show pro, some of them will show free, and you can filter it by going here, and then searching the availability, whether it's free or pro, apply the filters. The free images that you see here is from pixabay.com and pexels.com, which both are owned uh, by Canva themselves. Now in terms of the usage rights with Pixabay and Pixels, they do say on their site that you can use it, freely use it for commercial use as well. However, there's still no guarantee that you can use these for commercial use and it is up to you to do your own due diligence and to ask, I guess, the uh, publisher or the owner of these photos for permission if you wanna stay safe. My favorite place to get stock images that are free to use, so if we click this, freely usable images, their license agreement simply shows all photos can be downloaded for free, commercial and non-commercial purposes. No permission needed or attribution. What you can't do obviously is sell the images on their own. So that's reassuring to know that you can use it for commercial purposes. So on unsplash.com, you can search for whatever background you wanna use. So we're gonna start with the title page first or the cover page. What I'm going to search for is minimalist or minimal, something around that topic just so I can use it for my cover page. So as you can tell, this has nothing. So I wanna basically take an image and put it here. Let's take something simple for this example. I'm just gonna choose this mountain, keep it a little more generic and clean. Clicking on download free. Once downloaded, what you can do is simply drag it to that canvas that you see here and it'll then upload it to your library. And you can see all the files that I've got here, my uploads and you don't need to drag and drop it anymore or insert it. It's all inserted and embedded for you there. The next step is to just resize it the way you want. So I'm just gonna start from the top corner there, resize it all the way, making sure I then touch the base of the canvas and it should look something like that. If you do wanna center it, then you can see the line, the purple line that gives you an indication of where the center is. For this next step, I want to add the title of my ebook. So I'll click on the text tool, 
choosing add a heading from the top, you can actually choose what font style you'd like to use depending on the style and perhaps your branding. For this demo, I'm just going to use Open Sans, choosing that and adding my title now. This ebook's called Mind Reset, so I'll add that in. Increasing the size is as simple as clicking once and dragging one of the corners to the size I want. Now I want to add a subtitle just somewhere down below here. So what I'm going to do is just add another heading. Use the same font as well, so Open Sans. This time I'll just add my subtitle. So I've got my subtitle here. So it says how to eliminate self-limiting beliefs and achieve success. Now what you can see here is self-limiting is broken up. What I wanna do is put this into one line. So what I can do is just go back here, pressing backspace now, just pressing enter so that that gives a line break. And that looks a lot better. From here, I can just arrange it where I want. So let's say at the top, looks a bit empty. So I'm just gonna put it perhaps in the center there and move the title somewhere around there. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's the cover page or title page. The next step is to actually add the content. How you do it is you simply click on add new page. That'll then add a new blank canvas, the same size, of course. I'll now go back to my Word document. And what I'm going to do is just copy, let's say the first page of it and copy it there. But before we do that, let's add a new page. We wanna reserve this next page for a table of contents. And if you have things like a disclaimer or an about the author page or anything else you wanna add before the actual body of your ebook, then you wanna add those appropriate blank pages. So I'll reserve this for just the table of contents for now. So let's skip to page three and start from here. What I wanna do is add a heading and we're going to call this introduction. Make sure I use the same font style to keep it consistent and changing the size to whatever I want. So let's say 32, a little bit bigger. Let's move it to the top right there. And now what I'm going to do is actually copy the text instead of the title, copy. From here, I'll select from the text menu, add a little bit of body text as you can see here. And don't worry too much about the sizes just yet. I'll just paste in the text. So let's align it so that it starts the same as where the introduction starts. And perhaps this one a little more about there. Let's now arrange it to the top by dragging it. And from here, I'm gonna select all by simply clicking Command A on my keyboard or for Windows users, it's Control A. Once that's selected, I'll just click on the alignment button until it's left aligned. So that's what it looks like at the moment. What I wanna do also is change the size to let's say size 16, so a little bigger. And I'll fix up the line breaks that you see here. You can see you failed to reach those goals. That's broken up already. So I'll just backspace and fix up anything else. So I'll fast forward it so you don't need to watch me format this text. All right, so that's formatted there. Now, what I wanna show you is actually how to add or embed an image if you wanna to choose to do that. So go to photos and again, you can choose one of the free photos or simply go to Unsplash to choose one from there. I've got my image here, so I'll just drag and drop it somewhere around here first and then we'll make those adjustments later. So there we go. And I'll try to fit this in so it's centered somewhere around there. Adding images to your ebook will be very handy, especially if you are writing some sort of how-to ebook and screenshots are a necessity. Now, I wanna show you another thing. If you do want to, let's say, have the text kind of wrapped around any image. So let's say I wanna have the image here, but then have the text wrapped around it. So first of all, I'm gonna just resize it the way I want here. So then I can fit some text there. Now, because Canva is a design tool, you're going to have to do everything manually. And from here, what I'm going to do is just duplicate this layer here by clicking anywhere right here. Once uh, I'm gonna go copy, then paste again. So now we have two copies. And from here, I'm going to delete anything that's overlapped by that image and anything thereafter like that. And now we can start kind of aligning it like that. But before I make the alignment, what I wanna do is just copy and paste again so I can make another copy and you'll see why later. I'll just put this aside for now. 
And from here, we're just going to select the text that we want wrapped around here. So any text that is overlapped, I'll just delete it and anything we don't need, of course. So it's actually going to start from here where it says all. So I'll just delete everything before that. So from there, we can now just resize it so that it kind of fits on that side there and deleting anything we do not want. So I think anything from here looks pretty good. Just like that. Now it's not perfect, of course, but just wanted to show you how to do it if you are looking to put text around images. And if you do wanna justify the text, you just click the alignment. So it looks a little cleaner like that. So it is touching the edge a little, so I'll just move it back. And taking our copy, deleting any text we no longer need, and so it looks like that right now once everything's deleted and aligned. Going back to my Word doc, I'll just take the next chapter. So chapter one, what are limiting beliefs? So I'll copy that heading, go back to Canva. And what I'm going to do is just duplicate this page to save some time, change a heading, paste it in right there and making sure I expand it so that it actually fits. And yeah, let's align it to the left instead. Now you can see that it's quite big. So what I'm going to do is resize it down. And we may need to also resize the other headings just to keep it consistent. But we can also do this and make those finer adjustments later on anyway. I'm going to delete what I do not need. So I'll just delete those and put in the actual ebook content. So I'll copy all that, paste it into this existing text box. So what I've done is I've skipped ahead and just copied and pasted a couple of chapters here. And just for this demo, otherwise I'll be here all day trying to show you how to copy and paste. Once you have added your content to your ebook, what you can do now is add page numbers to your ebook. So with that, what you can do is start by going to elements and let's first just choose a shape and let's say this square here. Don't worry about the colors yet because what we can do is just add it in later. And I'm just gonna adjust it somewhere around there. I'm gonna put page numbers in the corner. So maybe on the right corner here. Choosing a color, you can simply go selecting it and choosing whatever. So let's say black. We can't repeat this and all we can do is duplicate it later on. The next step is to go text and we're going to just choose at a heading since uh, that's a larger size. Put it somewhere here and let's say this is page. The cover is not included as a page number and a table of contents is not included as a page number. And if you have like about the author or anything else is, you know, I don't consider that a page number. The page number, you can start with, let's say the introduction. So I'll just add page one for this, choosing the same font, so open sans, and now dragging it over to the box right here. So I'm just gonna select that over that and because it's black on black, we do need to change the number to white like that. And I'll just change the size by dragging a little bit. We can make fine adjustments to the size to make it a little smaller by highlighting everything, resizing it all down to let's say about that. All right, so that's page one. So now the reader knows where the pages are once they do go through, let's say the table of contents. And I'm just gonna highlight that again and copy. And then on the next page, I'll just go paste. So we will paste it and I'll just change the page number to page two, like that. Just make sure it's aligned properly. It looks like it's a little out of place. Once you've added your page numbers to all of your pages, what you can do next is create a table of contents. To do so, Canva do offer table of contents templates and they may seem a little fancy. You don't need to go with that. So what I'm, I'm going to do is just create one from scratch. All right, so since we are creating an ebook from scratch, step-by-step step using Canva. So with that said, I'm going to first add a new heading again and choosing Open Sans again, changing this to Table of Contents. I'll just range this somewhere at the top here. You can also change the size, of course to let's say 28. Next up, I'm going to just add body text to then show each of the chapters. So first of all, we've got introduction. 
like that. So I'll arrange it somewhere there, increase the size, and I'll just arrange this to the left. And from here, what you wanna do is go to elements and searching for line, I can already see it there, but we want the dotted line, clicking that, and let's change the color first to the same color as our fonts there. Because it is too thick and bold, I'm just going to resize it down to somewhere around there. And let's click on zoom, or we can go command plus to zoom in. That's the shortcut, or on your Windows system, it's control and the plus or minus to zoom in and out. And by the way, if you do wanna learn some shortcuts and some Canva tips and tricks, I'll link up another card here so that you can refer to that. From here, I'm going to just expand it so that it's kind of at the end of the page. So somewhere around here, starting from here, decrease the size a bit so there's space for the actual page number. So something like that, I'll just zoom back into about 75%. What I'm gonna do next is just copy and paste this, paste it, Put it somewhere here and put in the actual page number. So this is page one. I'll just resize it down and put it right here. From here, you can just rinse and repeat for the remainder of the chapters. So I've done so for the next chapter after that. Once you've formatted your ebook, proofread it and edited it the way you want, we can now export the ebook. So it's as simple as going here, clicking on download. And from here, choosing the file type, which is obviously a PDF document. You can select specific pages, or if you want the entire ebook, then you don't need to play around with this option. Click on download, and it'll prepare and export your PDF document. Here's the PDF that I just downloaded. I'll open that now. Here's what we created. So here's the title page, the table of contents, the introduction, and the second chapter. So chapter one, what are limiting beliefs? You'll see the page numbers too. And assuming, of course, if I complete this, I'm ready to sell it. So there you have it. That's how you create and design an ebook from scratch using Canva. Of course, there's quite a lot of tweaking and fine tuning that you may need to do depending on your content, how you want it to look, but Canva will still allow you to design and create ebooks overall. If you got value from this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications too, so that you don't miss out on any tips, tool reviews, and tutorials that I post up here on this channel. Now, if you are looking to design an ebook cover that looks realistic and professional, I will link up a card right here, which teaches you step-by-step -step how to take an ebook cover design and turn it into a 3D mock-up. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to stick around to watch these next relevant videos. And as always, stay stoic, my friends.